At this point, it's about one in five American women will have been to a Planned Parenthood at some point in her life. Can't say that we were surprised, but we were definitely disappointed. Um, politicians, including Senator Corker, have been using um, these widely discredited attacks on Planned Parenthood to try to push forth legislation that's going to roll back women's access to health care. This is not a new war, but it is one that has been forced back into a very public arena due to secretly recorded video. And while the issues surrounding it are indeed complex, there is a bottom line. Is Planned Parenthood really selling off aborted baby parts? Are they doing anything illegal? How deep do the moral ramifications go? How necessary are such tissues for medical research that could save lives? And should you, the American taxpayer, be funding their efforts? Of course, mixed in with all this emotion, is the issue of abortion. Who has the right to make these decisions? And are we a godless nation for refusing to see how some people view it? The killing of the innocent and the unborn. Here we go. One of the organizations fighting against Planned Parenthood and standing their ground for a long time is the Susan B. Anthony List, echoing their founder, who once called abortion child murder. Mallory Quigley is their communications director. Mallory, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thanks for having me, Ed. Mallory, the big question, I think, why did it take undercover videos to get people so mad because this issue hasn't just all of a sudden cropped up here it's been right in front of our face for a couple of generations now that's right well i think that you know for years pro-life protesters have been outside of abortion facilities, oftentimes with graphic signs. That's a controversial uh, tactic, even within our own movement. But what we have with these four undercover videos, and there are more coming, are Planned Parenthood employees making that graphic, brutal argument themselves in their words and then in their actions. We've seen these most two most recent videos showing um, the, the, the torn, the war-torn, according to one Planned Parenthood doctor, the war-torn bodies of these unborn, uh, these, these children. Um, and so to have that in front of the face of the American people and to have so many outlets covering it, I, I think it's getting people more riled up than they have it, it, they've ever been. And this is the worst PR disaster that Planned Parenthood has ever seen. Mallory, uh, Mallory, let me play devil's advocate a minute, which is what we have to do in every situation to get the real answers here. The people at Planned Parenthood say this, and we've had lawyers tell us on this show that they are legally doing nothing wrong. So is it more the moral implications here the mere thought process of tearing a fetus apart in some cases that's the thing that we should focus on not necessarily the legalese well I think that if you look at the videos there certainly is evidence enough to suggest that they are profiting from the selling of these of, of these bodies of these aborted children um, the issue is whether or not they're just being compensated for their time uh, several of the the doctors in the videos have made clear that this really is costing Planned Parenthood nothing to allow these people to come in and take away the parts um, but regardless of whether or not they're breaking the law they're absolutely um, are breaking uh, they're ending lives and to have this uh, played out for us so graphically, so so brutally, um, yes, it, it begs the question, why is this even happening in the first place? Why are these abortions happening in the first place? If it's, such, if it's just a blob of tissue, which Planned Parenthood has maintained for years, that, that that's all that's happening in the womb at this time, that this is just products of consumption, excuse me, products of, con of conception, mm -hmm. lumps of, of tissue. Um, but you know what? Blobs of tissue don't have uh, liver. They don't have lungs. They don't have brains. And you can't sell those things if it's just a lump of tissue. So this is really exposing the reality of what abortion truly is. And Americans are horrified by, by it, as they should be. And Planned Parenthood should be stopped. Mallory, I only got about a minute left. But let me again ask you one of those questions that has to be asked. What about the defunding of Planned Parenthood and if it goes mm -hmm. away? Look, obviously, it's doing some things that people think are terrible. But there are other people out there who will say it does other things sure. that are necessary. So what happens to sure. those people if we defund and completely cut it off? The legislation that the Senate's going to vote on Monday, uh, this coming Monday night, would defund Planned Parenthood and make those funds available to comprehensive health care centers that don't provide abortion. There's over a thousand federally qualified health centers across America. They're already providing uh, 
comprehensive care, things that women and men can't get at Planned Parenthood, treatment for hypertension, diabetes, uh, depression. Mm -hmm. Women, in particular, need more than what Planned Parenthood could provide. They need more than gynecological care and more than preventative services. They, women will be, will be able to go to these federally qualified health centers for the services that Planned Parenthood is providing in terms of preventative care and everything that they're not. I've only got 10 seconds left. Ted Cruz is talking about making a fight out of this and maybe even shutting the government down over this issue. Should that be the case? Is that a good idea? I think that... I think we'll, we'll see. I, I'm so grateful to Senator Ted Cruz and to all of the pro senators, including Joni Ernst, who are, have been pushing this issue in the Senate. Um, something's got to be done. The law needs to be changed. And obviously something is going to be done because we have a nation in an uproar right now. Mallory Quigley, thank you so much for joining us. We absolutely appreciate your time. Stay with us. The fastest 60 minutes in news. The hard line continues.